You uh, uh, were telling me backstage, you actually did have a phone call with Donald Trump. I did. After he got elected and before he took office, I uh, wanted, wanted me to know he wanted a call, so I called him. He was the pres-elect, and I don't have an ego, so okay. And uh, he asked me what he should do. And I said, well, you don't know anything about a lot of parts of government. You've never been in government before. What you need to do is to get some people that have experience, try to find a bunch of people who are smarter than you. At which point he alleged that there weren't any. <laughs> And then he gave me his private cell phone number, which I didn't bother to write down. <laughs> have, you, have you talked to him since? No. You haven't talked to him? I have no. not talked to him since. Uh, last time you were here, you but were... But I mentioned him in my commercials. <laughs> I, I heard that. I saw that. Uh, when you were last on our show, I think you were, you were still mayor, and we, everyone here asked you and begged you to run for president, and you said no. Um, uh, why, why are you deciding to run now? Why now? Because I took a look and I thought the people who were running didn't have ideas that were practical. We couldn't afford them and Congress wouldn't pass them. And I didn't think they could uh, beat Donald Trump. And I think the most important thing is to change who's living in the White House. Because, as I said back in Philadelphia in 2016, not the right guy for the job. Yeah. That's right. I think your, your, strategy, your strategy for your campaign is very, very different. Uh, we haven't seen anything like this. You're not focusing on uh, like New Hampshire and Iowa. And well, I entered the race too late to really compete in those, the early four states. And you have to build a team, and there are only a certain number of people you can hire that would know who to talk to and where to go and where to have dinner and what to say and the local knowledge. Yeah. So I just really didn't have the chance to enter those four early states. But I've spent my time since then going around the country for all the states who are in, uh, have their elections in March. And so far, I've been to 24 states and 56 cities in wow. four or five weeks. Oh and tonight, God. I'm going to Houston, tomorrow, Washington, then really? California, and Arizona, and Colorado, and that's before the weekend. Wow. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a big job. You are, uh, are self-funded. Yes. Uh, and for me to ask other people for money is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's get serious here. Also, I didn't take any money when I was running for mayor three times. I want people to understand that my integrity is everything. You cannot buy me. And people say, well, if everybody gives, gives a dollar. But it just sets the right, I think it sets the right tone to say I'm not taking anything from anybody. And unfortunately, the Democratic Party has rules you can't be in the debates unless you have 200,000 or 2 million, whatever it is, uh, donors. And I only have one donor, me. But <laughs> yeah. If they would have changed the rules, I'd love to debate. Yeah. You would like to debate? Sure. Why not? Right. I mean, it's a good chance to show the public that you can take the grief as well as give it out. And uh, I think I have good answers to uh, the kind of questions that a, a reporters would ask you and some cute remarks for those that come from the other candidates where <laughs> yeah. they don't care at all. Basically what the debates are, yeah. Uh, uh -huh. on and on and on. Uh, I said... And it's on and on and on.